So, welcome back to another video, a completely different video to what I've ever uploaded before. Pretty sure I haven't uploaded anything like this, but this is Forza Horizon 4, one year on. Like, it's been a year since we got Forza Horizon 4, where has that time gone? My channel has literally not grown, so if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate that. But yeah, I'm just going to talk about a few things that has happened on Forza Horizon 4. I've also got another content creator giving their opinion on Forza Horizon 4. So let's get into this absolute shambles of a video. So the first point, and probably the main point of Forza Horizon 4 was the whole seasons aspect of the game. Now I do feel having had seasons for a whole year now, it, it, it was a good idea. But at the same time, like I've mentioned, Season Selector would have been nice. But I just want to say that Seasons on Forza Horizon 4, it has sort of kept me playing the game a little bit. Like, I believe it's just changed to Autumn right now. It's Thursday night when I'm recording this, so I think it's changed to Autumn. I will get on that game and take a few photos because Autumn is one of my favourite seasons on the game. But then when it's winter, I probably won't touch the game, so it's... Mm. But I do wonder what Forza Horizon 4 would have been like without Seasons. I think it still would have been a very very good game all right that's point one over point two ties in quite nicely with that it's that we've had a lot of updates a lot of new cars literally we have been spoiled with new content added to the game mainly for free as well like we have had so many cars added so much stuff we've got a mitsubishi dlc pack for free was that in like january something like that that was pretty cool and something the whole community really loved but i'm just not really into forza horizon 4 that much so i won't go and spend like an hour or two trying to get just one car by doing like the championships and that i'm just not uh, i can't play it for that long i'd rather just miss a car and just try and get in a wheel spin something like that you know what i mean i'm just not about like that that grinding on the game I prefer to spend time doing other stuff like, if we were to go back to one year on and be at the very beginning of Forza Horizon 4, we probably wouldn't have expected to get all these cars. There's been a lot of cool cars as well. Yes, there's been cars I've not really been bothered about, but we've had a lot of very, very nice cars added for free. A lot of them I haven't got because I don't play it that much, so I've not been bothered about it. But if you are a hardcore Forza Horizon 4 player, having them new cars to get every week is very, very nice and something you can actually spend your time doing. Because on Forza Horizon 3 and previous games, we never had that. Now my next point is the expansions. The expansions haven't been that good. Fortune Island was all right. Lego expansion, mmm. Do we go there? Do we actually do go there? Like, are we going there? Yeah, we're going there. It was absolute garbage. <clears throat> I've not known a Forza game to have an expansion that bad ever. Like, that's just not me being fussy or whatever. It's like, 80% of the Forza player base will probably say that. I mean, it'll be, it'll be cool for some people. I at first thought the Lego expansion would have been alright, but it's not where Forza is at. I think they took a massive gamble doing that expansion because... The Hot Wheels one, that was a gamble, that paid off. The Lego one was a gamble that didn't quite pay off, did it, guys? No, it just did not. But it is a learning curve for them for the next Horizon game. Now they know not to do something like that, so hopefully they stick to a more real-world map. Forza Horizon 4 has had some massive controversy surrounding the car engine sound, which for me isn't really a problem. But for some players, it is a huge problem. We've had YouTube channels bang videos off this. I don't know how, but it has actually happened. But we have seen improvements since then. And that ties in with the whole game. We've had several, several updates. We get like an update a month. So, so we've had like 10 to 12 updates where new stuff has been added, new features have been added. But one of my favorite features, like we've had stuff like the root creator, we've had engine sounds made better. We've probably had some other stuff that I just don't know. But my favourite one is the extended photo mode, I'm going to call it. We have quite a few more options on photo mode now, which we just haven't had in a Horizon game. It makes taking photos very nice, especially in autumn. Like, you turn the um, warmth up on the colour. Them orange colours are looking fresh. Like, if you go back to Horizon 2 or Horizon 3, you go into photo mode. It feels so bare compared to Forza Horizon 4. Forza Horizon 4 photo mode is one of the best photo modes in any game 
well, for a racing game I've ever used. Like, Need for Speed, nah. Forza Horizon 4 Photo Mode is my favourite. I love it. Amazing job, lads. Well done. I'm not going to make this video too long, but I just want to quickly go over as well. For me, I feel Forza Horizon 4 has been like a tipping point for the Horizon franchise, mainly on YouTube and the whole social media side of things. It's quite hard to explain, but Forza Horizon 4 has changed YouTube content a lot. Like, a lot of the content we see now, we never used to get in the Horizon 3, Horizon 2 days. Some of it for the good, some of it not so good. But that's like a totally different story. I'm not gonna go over anything in this video because, you know, certain people might get a bit touchy about it. I also think how the always online aspect of the game hasn't really worked out. It may have, but for me, I just don't really like it. I prefer to play in Horizon Solo. The multiplayer just isn't the same as previous Horizon games, which was a lot more enjoyable. Like, I don't play Horizon 4 multiplayer. It's just rubbish and boring. I'm just happy going back on Horizon 3 and doing a bit of online there. It's just a lot more fun. It's just easier and quicker to get into lobbies. It's so much better. Because this is a whole Forza Horizon 4 one year on sort of video, I didn't want to just give my opinion. I drafted in another content creator who goes by the name of Shiny Odd to voice his opinion in about 30 seconds. I feel Forza Horizon 4 got a lot of bad rep. It's not my favourite Horizon, nor the best fundamentally, but it is certainly not a bad game. While it still deserves criticism, it is often over-exaggerated, I feel, which anyone with half a brain stem will find obvious and unsurprising. Overall, it's fine. It sets high standards for the racing game genre like it should be, and introduces more people into it. It's a bit of a win-win scenario, even if the cars do sound like they've been recorded with 1920s stethoscopes. A cracking speech all round by Shiny Odd there. Amazing stuff. Thank you for taking part in this spelly video. I do appreciate it. But yeah, Forza Horizon 4, I don't think there's many content creators out there that would say Forza Horizon 4 is the best Forza Horizon game or their favourite Forza Horizon game. I don't know if I've just repeated myself there. I have no idea. Like, it really is great it being set in Great Britain, but I sort of feel they could have done it better. Just everything they've changed about the Horizon game hasn't been that good for me. Forza Horizon 3 was a nice, simple, great performing game and Horizon 4 just feels like a backward step even though it is a forward step. I, I, I don't think I'll ever get my head around how confusing Forza Horizon 4 is as a game. I don't know how to say it to be honest, literally it is a good game and at the same time it's not. Whereas Forza Horizon 3 fantastic game and I'm, I'm actually excited to see what they'll bring over the next year because remember we've got two years of this two more years of this Forza Horizon 4 game until we get Horizon 5 because next year is supposedly Motorsport 8 and then the year after will be Forza Horizon 5 you know 2021 we're gonna have Need for Speed and Forza Horizon that is gonna be a couple of mad months there so thank you very much for watching leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe for on around here but until next time guys take care